Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I want to share with you this Revolver A7B. Uh, this company is owned by my friend Dan, and he sent me one of his uh, watches to check out and to wear for a while. So I'm excited to share with you my thoughts. I'll throw some specs here on the screen. As you can see, it's kind of a larger micro brand, and it is really, really interesting. So the design language for this watch kind of stems from firearms, and you can see that uh, from the name of the company, you know, Revolver and then some design language that's found throughout the dial and the case back. You can see this cutout here. It's kind of the cross section of a revolver's chamber. So uh, really interesting. I think, you know, my personal opinion, Bruce Williams, I think this is a good blend of kind of a fashion watch or, uh, you know, a statement piece. Better than Nixon, better than Kenneth Cole and Burberry and Michael Kors. Um, it's not just for looks. It's not just um, to garner attention and compliments. This uh, this statement piece is also paired with nice materials like a, a domed sapphire crystal with blue anti-reflective coating on the underside. You know, you've got your open heart feature with your Japanese made Miyota movement, uh, your 8S, uh, sorry, yeah, your 8S27 um, automatic movement in the back. So it's pretty fun. This is a really, this is a really cool watch. Let's take a look at the dial. So if we get up close, you'll notice that this dial is uh, multi-dimensional. The main section of the dial is floating and supported by standoffs at the uh, 6, 3, 9, and 12 o'clock positions. Uh, you've got you know your revolver chamber application there, very dominant form. You've got your logo here uh, by the 10, 11 o'clock marker. And then you've got three different subsections to this dial. One is your open heart, so you can see the balance wheel oscillating down there. Um, and then over here, you have your seconds disc, so you can see that's rotating in that bottom portion of the revolver chamber uh, where a bullet would be. And I think that's really <laughs> just kind of a fun touch. The other thing that's interesting on the dial is this uh, register here at the nine o'clock position. You'll see um, uh, there's kind of a pointer here and I'll just show you what it does here. If I pull the crown out and I adjust the time, you'll notice that that disc rotates in synchronization with the hour hand. So it's, it's just a repetition of which hour it is. So if I set the hour hand to, uh, to 3 p.m., You'll notice over here that the uh, pointer is pointing to the three section of that date disc. Sorry, not date disc, that hour disc. So I just, I think it's really fun. So you've got revolver, automatic A7, mechanical revolution, all the different features under that domed sapphire crystal and this very large gunmetal finished case with polished and brushed sections. And the case is set on a leather strap, which is actually a very nice quality uh, genuine leather strap. It's what they called mold injected leather. So you'll notice that there's some nice texture to it. You have a padded section and then you've got the compression waves here that you normally find on the rubber of a dive watch um, that they've executed to a very nice degree with matching black stitching. And this leather, it smells like you've walked into a leather goods store. I mean, it smells like a, like a custom pair of Italian shoes. I mean, it just smells like leather. Um, it smells really nice actually. So a lot of fun details. If you turn it over, you can see some of the specs here written on the back and then that exhibition case back with the uh, revolver chamber partially obscuring that Miyota movement. And it, it's a nice movement. It's a 21 joule lower beat frequency movement with your open heart uh, execution there. And that rotor is not bi-directional winding. So if you give it a good flick, it just spins and spins and spins. Um, and interestingly enough, this one does not have any wobble like you normally feel on like the 9015 caliber. It feels absolutely smooth and weightless, and I don't notice it while I'm wearing this. It's, it's really fun. So um, I like the movement. It's nice quality, and this one is running at plus seven seconds per day, which I find to be very, very good for this price point. So you can pick one of these up new for under $300, and at that price, I don't see why you buy a Nixon. I don't see why you buy a Michael Kors or Kenneth Cole or uh, really any of the other fashion watches. This has definitely nicer quality than that. Um, you know, with your your nice mold injected leather, your Miyota Japanese movement, your quality loom, the weight and heft to this. I mean, 
this is a great statement piece if you're looking for kind of a youthful, fun design. And if you like firearms, you know, this is a fun one to tie in with that. So is it going to impress your Rolex enthusiast, your Omega or Breitling enthusiast? Uh, definitely not. This is not traditional Swiss watchmaking in any sense of the term. This is definitely a micro brand that's meant to be a cut above the rest. I mean, it's very bold, very different. And I will say, I'm more of a traditional, you know, watch guy. I'm wearing the Bell and Ross right now on this beautiful bracelet. Um, but I honestly have had fun wearing this watch for the past little while. It's it's a cool piece. Everything from the sign crown that says Carpe Diem or Seize the Day in Latin, uh, just to that really cool dial layout. It's it's fun. It's got wrist presence, and it's a fun watch. So um, let me know if you guys have any questions. You can find um, the revolver a7 and a number of different finishes on bracelet or without i'll leave a link to my friend dan's website uh, he's a great guy and he offers a very solid product so if you're interested in this go ahead and check it out and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed watching the video give me a like if you enjoyed it give me a dislike if you did not enjoy it and i will catch you guys in the next one cheers